I think, though, in the states, and I think that's where really changed the tide for us eventually in my RICO election, is people saw what we were doing was fighting for them, fighting for the hardworking taxpayers, taking on the status quo, taking on the entrenched special interests. And, and for us and for other governors, I think that's why there's a difference out there. But I was in Wisconsin, yeah. I told you, for, for the uh, recall election. And I, so many people on both sides said to me that they had never seen the state so divided, so polarized. I remember the teacher in Oconomowoc who said, I feel like public enemy number one. That's how teachers have been made to feel. Given all of that, how can Wisconsin be a model for what you'd like to see in Washington? Well, because we've moved on. But I think many Americans looking at what's happened in the election and since would say, divided government, Republic, uh, president wants to do this, Republicans don't allow that. You haven't had to deal with divided government in, in Wisconsin. So what would be your, what, what, what do you think could be done to get past it? My argument is I don't think that, that split government uh, dividing things is a good idea. Conventional wisdom in Washington for years has been that divided government is good because of check and a balance. What I believe happens all too often, regardless of which party, because the same sorts of things happened to George Bush when the end of his term when Democrats were in charge of the House and the Senate, is there's gridlock. And I, I think the better argument is give one party a chance, give them a chance with the House and the Senate and the President, give them a few years to see what they can do, and if you don't like it, but another point and you say that even though we have a very divided country, a very divided electorate. Well, I do, but again, you look at the, not just Wisconsin, but battleground states all across the United States where they're evenly divided. The real reforms I think you see happening aren't happening in the deep red states. They're happening in the purple states, the Midwestern states in particular, where we're tackling big, tough issues.